What is going on, my Super Saiyan witches? Rex out here. Today, bringing you some more uh, Pokemon pack openings. Today, we have a PSA Grave Return. I'm really excited about this box. I think. I hope I'm excited about this box. As always, whenever I send submissions to, uh, to PSA, I always send in batches of like four, five, six submissions. That way, when they all come back, they'll come back like one after another. That way, I have like PSA uh, content over the course of the next couple weeks. With that said, this might be a hype one. This might not be a hype one because I do have a very special one that uh, should be coming in sometime, I want to say next week. Because like I said, since I sent in this batch at the exact same time, technically they should be uh, getting graded around the same time. As always, I you know should probably open these before, which I usually do. But for this one, I was just so excited to turn the camera on. I want to see what happens. I'll see, I want to see if this is the one. Uh, I do have my... Uh, my Make sure I don't see the, the front of this. I do have my uh, numbers next to me so you can see how many actually exist of each one if we get the good grades, of course. But here we go. So it is Pokemon. It's definitely Pokemon. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh, which there is a Yu-Gi-Oh. I think there's two Yu-Gi-Oh returns coming in the next week or so. So let's see which, uh, which one this is going to be. Oh! Dude, I completely forgot about these. These are all, if I remember correctly, these are all staff returns. Uh, and they go back a long time too. I mean, for example, we're looking at 1999, a pre-release Aerodactyl. This is not valuable at all. I mean, okay, let me not say it's not valuable at all because I actually have no clue. I just know that when I bought this, I bought a batch of cards for like $5 each. They were not that expensive at all. And because I grew up with this card, I love uh, the, the Aerodactyl card from the Fossil set. It's like one of my favorite Fossil cards next to the Kabutops and uh, the Articuno. So I figured, you know what, pre-release, it's gotta be, it's gotta have some kind of meaning to it, so let's see what happens. Now, I don't think any of these are gonna come back as tens. Um, my heart, my heart, oh my gosh, a seven? Like I said, when I got these all, since they're so old, they were all pretty beat up. Now again, the good news is, they're not that valuable, because I don't know if they were just mass produced or what, but they're not as uh, as hype as certain staff cards are. For example, obviously the Charizard staff from the Evolution set is, is huge. It's like a couple thousand dollar card if you get that as a 10. But uh, surprisingly, nothing else as far as staff has been that expensive, at least to my knowledge, including these older ones. But again, because they were so cheap, I figured why not? It could be a fun video. Good news is, I have more. It's more than just one. And uh, if you guys want to know actually what was wrong with this, if I remember correctly, but this one actually had beat up uh, corners. Uh, you can kind of kind of see it, you know, from from this view. And there's a couple scratches on here. But every other one of these Aerodactyls had horrible scratches. As you can see right now, uh, when I shine into the light, the scratches are pretty bad. Also, I want to point out that these are two different uh, Aerodactyls. One has like black lettering. This one has uh, gold. I honestly don't know the big difference, but uh, some I might. And if you might know any of that, let me know in the comment section below. Nine. I can take a nine. That's better than a seven. Let's look at how many nines exist for this one. Uh, it's probably gonna be a lot. Service unavailable? What do you mean service unavailable? I'm recording a video right now. What happened? Did the site just go down? I think the site just went down. The site just went down. Are you kidding me? I just, I just, what? Oh, hold on, time out. All right, uh, I guess we won't know. If you wanna look it up yourself, just go to psacard.com slash cert, C-E-R-T, and then type in that code and you can see for yourself how many exist. I feel like, only ones that really matter to check is going to be if we have any 10s. I mean, the 9s, usually there's a bunch. And I'm again, because of this uh, nature of this card, I'm sure there's been a lot that's been submitted over the course of the, the lifetime of the card existing. God, this stupid curl on my head is just annoying me right now. I need to get haircut so badly. Okay, next one we got another one also with the black letters. This one is actually not as thick, which is weird. And it's a 7. I wonder why is this... Oh. <laughs> why is this a 7? You can see for yourself with the, all the scratches that just reflect off of that. All right, at least we got one as a 9. Can we get one as a 10? I think I have like at least one more left. I don't! Fates Collide, Staff, Tyran Tyranitar, 10. Oh, why is this an 8? Oh, I know why this is an 8. You can actually see for yourself. Look at that. Bam. That's probably a uh, part of it. And there's also more going into it. I know the, the bottom is also kind of boo-boo as well. Once again, I'm already trying to figure out what I have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Okay, what's, what's next? Lucario, Staff Lucario. Again, uh, the reason why I bought these Staff cards is because I, out of curiosity, after you know getting a Staff uh, Charizard from the Evolution set, I looked up on Trollentoe.com to see what, what Staff cards exist, and I came across a bunch. Oh, actually, the site's back up. Look at that. I came across a bunch of Staff cards that were released over the course of the last like 15 years, 10 years or so, and they're all surprisingly very cheap. So I figured, you know what? Let's get a couple and see what happens. Uh, actually, let's see. We got uh, 304 pre-release uh, Aerodactyls and only 35 tenths. Actually, now I kind of want to get 10. Uh, how many do we got for Lucario? But first of all, what's the score? A 9. I'll take the 9. Lucario 9 is probably like 1. Because no one sent this in. Just kidding. There's 3 9s and 4 10s. Okay, so I guess I'm not the only idiot that, that sends these cards in. 
Bet you the other person that sends these in is probably Dariums. Big shout out to Dariums. I know you're probably uh, sending in a lot of these random cards that nobody else will. So we're probably competing with each other right now. Speaking of old pre-releases, again, this Gyarados for some reason is not that valuable at all. Let me get a 10. Nine works too, I guess. Can I get a large number 10? No, not today. I guess the, the 10 machines broke. And speaking of 10 machine, there's 429 9s and 181 tenths. Holy crap. Okay, well, <laughs> there goes that. Is there scratches on here? What, happened? what What caused this to not... Because I feel like when I got all of these... Oh, I see why. It's this little thing in the corner. Good news is, is I'm an idiot and I buy multiple versions of cards, so... 10 in this one! Just kidding, we're gonna get another 9! I guess I own two 9s out of, out of the mini that exists. Okay, I, once again, this one is just uh, it's the corner. It's always that one small imperfection where it still counts as a near mint card, but then it's like, it's not good enough to be a 10, and it's like, it is what it is. Uh, should be another one. It is another one! You know what, let's see how good this one is before I jump into it. Are there any scratches? I do not see scratches. Centering seems good. The back also is questionable. But you know what? We're gonna get a 10 on this! Not again! <sighs> That's fine. You know what? Nine is always good. You know, don't, don't like, be confused that when I get upset when something is not a ten, because nine is still a solid number for a collector, especially value-wise. Obviously, there's a big difference between nine and ten, but nine is still solid. Um, this is an eight. I'm not even gonna look that. Actually, let's, let's see how many eights exist. Maybe I can feel, make myself feel better to see how many people failed trying to get good scores. Wow, there's 87 eights. Technically, this is rarer than a freaking nine. That's actually kind of goofy. Okay, whatever. Next one, what we got? Uh, we got Mudkip. Oh, it's the Poke. Okay, so this is like from that hand-drawn concept that they had back in 2004. 2004, where basically they let people design and draw their own versions of cards, and it was like a five-card pack. So the set itself is very, very rare. Warner Bros. actually did, as you can see on the bottom right. The set itself is very rare and only had five cards. I don't know if you get all five cards within the pack or if there were like a very uh, variety of, of, you know, cards available with the actual set. But I don't know it was like a very, very short set. I believe it's five cards, right? Yeah, as you can see on the bottom, it says four out of five. And I managed to pick up this. Let's see if I can do it correctly without revealing it. Just kidding. <laughs> I also have a Torchic as well. <laughs> well, now you know the next card is going to be Mewtwo. It's a nine? This one I wanted to be a ten. Why couldn't this one be a ten? All right, how many exist? How many Mudkips exist? 18 and 7 tenths. See, I figured this would be a good chance of it being a 10 just due to the fact that it, uh, it, it's not hollow. Oh, I don't know why. It's not holographic, so there's uh, less a chance for the hollow pattern to be scratched. But I mean, the, the top was kind of like questionable. I figure, you know what? It's close. If, if it's going to be a 10, it'll be a close 10. But you know what? 9 works too. Uh, I'm definitely probably going to resell this one, but look at the art. I love the fact that this is hand drawn by some like random like fan of the series. And I think they're, yeah, it's got their names on the bottom right as well. Uh, but whoever drew this did an amazing job. I love that. That's actually one of the best looking Mudkips I've seen as far as card art. Let me not say that because I'm sure I'm, I'm probably forgetting about a uh, Mudkip that was released in the past. It's actually really cool. All right. Uh, Legendary Collection Mewtwo. This is going to be a nine. Six, actually. Six? Why is it a six? What, what, did I, what did I miss that I just don't see here? I feel like... Man, you know what? Shenanigans. I call shenanigans in this. This could be at least... This should be at least a nine, I want to say. Uh, six, man. I mean, whatever. Uh, lucky for me, this one isn't as expensive as the other ones. From this set, especially, uh, the the Charizard was stupid. I actually have the Charizard as a PSA 10, and I don't know how I got lucky enough to get that. Get that. I bought that card raw, sent it in, and came back as a 10, and I almost, I like, lost. I, I completely blew up over uh, getting that return. You can actually look that video up on, on my channel. I think it's one of my most popular PSA grade returns on the channel so far. Dragonite. We have an Expedition Dragonite. Uh, this is actually for my girlfriend because she loves Dragonite. Is she going to be happy with a 10? No, she's going to be happy with a 9 probably. Uh, let's actually look it up and see how many exist. Why is this so rough? I feel like this could have been a 10. See, I, you know, I feel like this one especially could have been a 10 because it is absolutely solid on the back. I mean, look at that. That is a solid on the back. That, that's actually not on the card. But, uh, by the way, this is just a little speck on the thing. But it looks solid. It looks absolutely solid. This could have been a freaking 10. How many exist? Uh, 60, 63 10, uh, excuse me, 63 nines and 19 tens. 19 tens. I mean, it's still, it's still great. Anything you get from Expedition, holographic, uh, as a fairly high gradable score, I think is good. Is this the tour? No, it's not. This is the, the Staff uh, Blasters, which is probably about to be like a 7 or something. Or it's going to be a 10. It's going to be a 10. Are you kidding me? I got one 10 back? 
Bro. That is that is dope. That is dope. Again, I don't know how valuable this is because, uh, again, it's, if it doesn't say Charizard, the staff cards obviously don't become as popular. But I feel like Blastos is up there. Blastos has always been in Charizard's shadow. It's just as cool. Well, it's almost as cool as Charizard, in my opinion. But he's up there. Blastos is definitely up there. But that's awesome having that as a 10. Now, the question is, is how many exist? Like, probably like 30 or 40. Or one! This is the only 10 that exists in the world. Can I see how many nines exist actually? Hold on, let me let me look it up real quick before we move on to the final card. All right, an update real quick. Uh, there's currently three nines and one 10, and I got that one 10. Darius, if you're out there, if you sent this in and those three nines are yours, I got the one 10. So I challenge you to get to, uh, you know, get get that 10 if you can find this card. Uh, although I feel like it's probably fairly easy to find out there because again, it doesn't say Charizard, so it's probably a lot easier to get as opposed to Charizard, but I challenge you to get the other 10. Actually, wait, don't, because I want to be the only one that owns a 10 of this. That's awesome. All right, so this should be the Torchic, if I remember correctly. It is. And again, th that art of that Torchic is awesome. And I love the fact that it is just hand-drawn by uh, a, a person that just submitted the art. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know how the contest went specifically, but that's kind of like the idea that I got from it. Oh, and it's a 9-2. It is a 9-2. I mean, again, I'm not surprised. Um... Yeah, if I remember, like, both of these were, like, not perfect, but, like, again, it was close. That's the only flaw that exists with this card. The, the centering is pretty solid. There's no hollow, so it doesn't get damaged easily. I feel like if they really if they really wanted to squint, they could have given both of these uh, tents, but you know what? It is what it is. Anyways, uh, this is dope, though. This is definitely dope. The fact that the, the Blastoise came back as a 10, and it's the only one in the world, I think that's awesome. So, again, uh, I cannot wait to see what else is to come. Uh, let me know what your favorite card was in this video. Again, if you want to see more PSA card returns on the channel, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Let's go for 500 likes as always. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Ryan Style. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.